The U.S. Navy made a shocking admission today. Strange flying objects caught on tape by their own fighter pilots are in fact UFOs. It's not an LNS one, is it? It's not. It is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's a other thing, thing, it's rotated. Sightings of unidentified flying objects have become so frequent in recent years that the U.S. government can no longer dismiss them. Do you believe that these UAPs are extraterrestrials? Do you believe that they're adversaries, foreign players of some kind, or something else entirely? I believe that it is non-human, that it's a non-human source. That could mean extraterrestrial, it could mean interdimensional, it could be something more exotic, ultra-terrestrial, some, something that's lived here for a long time. This is a Department of Defense official saying, stop looking at UFOs because they're demonic. Correct. He said, Lou, I want you to stop, stop doing this. And they ask why, and he says, well, we already know what it is. He asked me point blank, have you read your Bible lately? He said, well, then you would know that these things are, are demonic. Oh, and Lord. The jinn are, are really of some alternative world. They see you uh, in ways that you can't see them. They're able to fly, they're able to travel through the skies, they're able to move a lot faster than us. Kind of pull a nose, you know, to where he's gonna be, and he's coming up, he just rapidly accelerates beyond anything that I've ever seen. Crosses my nose, and it's gone. They can assume many shapes. He had a big head and big black eyes and was dressed in a black bodysuit. They were wearing pure black. And I came down and I saw the funny man with his eyes here and I saw a spaceship and there were a few little ones around it. There was no reason for any of us to make that up. Iblis's throne is on the water, in the ocean right under the water where the Tic Tacs were descending, the Tic Tac UFOs were descending too. And they were dropping in from above 80,000 feet all the way down to sea level in less than a second. If you look at the characteristic of the jinn, th these are the characteristics of energy. Smokeless fire, unexplained lights, and this is a well-known phenomenon. Some of the objects look like UFOs, but the summoners think the morphing shapes are living beings. I believe it's a non-human technology. And I wish I knew who owns it. Here comes a man. The Dajjal has some of the tricks and traits of the jinn. This is your last chance. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. <laughs>